All right. Well, today we are all right. Well, today looking at our Dead Sons campaign. Our good way to start off things is to check the message of the day and our calendar. All right. So we can see. Our message of the day is outdated. So let's go to our calendar. We'll start there and uh, work backwards from there. So here's our scar scraper. So Last time, I was able to keep track of what was going on in my calendar as we were playing. Go me. So it's always nice when I'm able to do that as a DM, uh, done a game master, however you want to flavor it. Um, makes it easier. So here, they spent the night at the Cloudside Condominiums. So we're done with the skyscraper. Crew of the Alright, well that's not good. The fact that they don't have a ship, so that's probably what I'm going to do next time is build their ship, because it doesn't look like they have a ship. And that ain't good, the Mariko, Mariko Nash. So they had finished crawling through the 80 story they had finished exploring the ancient size skyscraper and they returned to the Cloud side condominiums. After resting for the night, they headed to the broken lands. So again, we'll stick the map that we have here. So I have a couple different maps for them. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and go into my little throw. Here's the image of Istamac itself. And then we're gonna throw in the image of the Cloudside Condominiums. I don't know why this is unidentified, it's the same thing. All right, and then we're gonna have Atomic Hero Squad, how in the world are you? Welcome, welcome. Thank you <clears throat> for stopping by. It is 5 o'clock Atomic Hero Squad time.
doing it a little different today because I had some family emergencies to take care of. So, streaming a little bit later. Normally, I will be streaming this about, do the math, six hours. Four hours, about four hours ago is when I normally would have been streaming, three and a half ish. Um, so typically one thirty Eastern time on Thursdays is when we do our Starfinder prep. So what we're doing today is we're uh, getting things caught up and then we're going to double check and make sure we're ready for, for them to proceed where they're going. Um, I don't expect them to get very far just because they're going to have to traverse the broken lands using the grappling hooks and stuff. But I want to make sure we do have enough just in case things go really smoothly and everything is done. <clears throat> All right, so we have our two images here. We also want the image of where they are now, which is here, the ancient docking bay, dun, dun, dun. technological pit. There you go. So that's the image of where they are. Where they found a bunch of gear. And I'm going to go ahead and make this shareable. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, so here's the picture. So as, as you're looking down in this sunken technological pit area, like a docking bay, missile silo, who knows what it was originally. So I'm going to my story arc and seeing if I have a pinned entry already. So we are in Dead Sons 4. Yes, the Forgotten City of Isamac. Uh, we do not. So I'm going to go ahead and make one. So what I do is I go up to the story. I go all the way up to the to here. Um, drop it down using the arrow, and then click on Add Category, and it will put in as Group One. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to click on the Edit Groups, Change Group One to. I'm going to put Number One. I'll put it right up on the top. Map pins is all it is. And then I click on it to enter that. Stop editing it. Go here. All right, so this one already has some signal screams. It has zeros. So let's go ahead and uh, alter it one more time. We'll, we'll put a little... Uh, asterisk in front of it and that will uh, put it at the top. Now we right click, create the item and all we're saying is the uh, technological pit. I will go ahead and put the link in here. Boom. There you go. And now all I do is I take this, I throw this onto the map. Right click on it. And say make link shareable. <laughs> I 
So now the players can click on it, open it up, and see the, the pit. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and put the story in here as well, just because I'm feeling nice. Unlock it, unlock it, highlight all of this, control C, control one to change it from a link, boom. So they have a link to what it is. I'm also adding another one, adding the uh, Let's go to the, the spires. So this one is fine the way it is. I'm just going to go ahead and make it shareable because there's nothing of note in there. But I am going to go ahead and put the temple found in here. Right click, add an item. Click on here, temple found. And then we're gonna take him, just grab a, uh, sacred temple. Boom. I'm going to take and put the pin there and make it shareable. So what this does is it allows, gives them a little bit more frame of reference as to what's happening, what's going on. Um, same thing down here, the lichen farm. I'm going to make it shareable. So now they have some things they can actually click on and interact with themselves. All right, so our message of the day is now ready to go. We have technological pit, cloudside community center to remind them where they weren't, and the map of Istmac. I'm actually going to move this up. Take this. Come on. Oh, there it is down here. We're going to get rid of this one. Put this up here. Boom. Not sure why it's doubled, so it's just annoying me. There you go. Okay, so here's that. So our message of the day is good. Remember, the message of the day pops up automatically when they log in. They have to close it in order to uh, get by it. So right now, the time in the calendar says 7. It should be 8.15. They arrive at the abandoned depot. So they should get here. It should be hold down control. Use your mouse wheel. Make it 8. It's going to be 8.30. Uh, I'm going to say it's taking about 20 minutes, so it's going to be at 8.35. And again, all of these logs, they are they have access to as players. They can read them. They can't change them or type into them, but they can read them. So it reminds them what they're doing. All right, so now we go back to our map. In the message of the day, I'm actually going to change something because I went through the trouble of building this. So I'm, I want to remind them that it exists. We'll 
What will our band of adventurers do now? Will they finish exploring? <clears throat> they manned an office building. They started going through, or will they head out into the broken lands? All right. So this is the abandoned office building. Maybe. Interesting. Why wouldn't I have put... Um, the pin on my map. That's weird. All right, so we go to our story page, our stories over here, and we go to where we are now, which is exploring or this lost city of Ismac. And then exploring Istamac here, I built, this is all the different ones that I built. Random encounters and engine office space is the one I was talking about. The abandoned building, here we go. So this is going to be we're now going to throw the link over here. We're going to put it um, put it over here. Why not? There we go. So I'm going to go back to my story. Go into my pins all the way at the top. Make a new one. And let's call it Abandoned office. With a question mark. Because it wasn't really abandoned. There are undead galore in here. <coughs> and we'll put that here. And make it. Nope. Make it shareable. So these are all the different encounters I have for this. What I don't have linked is the, there it is, okay, office space. I'm going to move you up to the top. I'm going to make a second one up here. Because, maybe. There we go. I want to have it readily available so I can find it. Actually, I'll move it down to just outside. There we go. All right. All right. So hopefully they'll go in here. If they don't, they don't. No big deal. 
Thus, this is the nature of a role-playing game. You can play your role as you see fit. But if they so if they go down into this building, we're all set. It's good to go. We have plenty of things to take up our two hours. If they don't, they come here. So this is how you use grappling. Here's the picture of them using the grappler. All right, so let's take a look at our handy dandy DMs screen. See what the KAC material hardness. Here we go. Stone or concrete hardness is fifteen. All right, so it says, um. Again, it's armor class 5. Okay, good. That makes it simple. It remains anchored until you give the release command as a move action and or provide free. Or destroyed. Okay. So, very simple mechanic on how to use the grappler. Pardon me for... Okay. I apologize for all the ASMR people for not blowing my nose on camera, muting it. You know what they say, you can blow your friends, you can blow your nose, but you can't blow your friend's nose. Or you can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. All right, so what they're trying to get to is southwest corner is constructed. Oh, wait, no, 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 broken lands. Here it is. Boink, 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 boink. I'm going to take this top part just a reminder of why they're here in the first place put this in the message of the day for them as a reminder can I make it italicized nope nope So what this says just reminds them, it says even with the messages from the two data storage crystals, the PCs still don't have the admin key code to enter the Temple Found's side security entrance. However, the messages contain a few clues that will lead them to that information, including partial router addresses for Securitech server, which might store the key code they need. And that's why they are here. <clears throat>
Oh, there's 8,000 Kish. Okay, I did not realize there was anything close to that. All right, so that gives me a better idea of what's going on now. All right, so that gives me, uh, they have an, an error. There is an error. Here we go. So I'm just reading through this here to, to remind myself what's going on. It says, so the current residents of the floating city of Istamak on the gas giant Najor 6 live among relics of the past. They lack any real understanding of the original purpose of such artifacts, as a once bustling metropolis slowly crumbles around them and foliage expands to cover everything. These simple folk survive by farming and hunting. They tell stories, paint murals about their ancestors, so their often fantastic myths are based on what little information they can glean from abandoned buildings and barely functioning technology. In truth, these passed down legends pale in comparison to the actual deeds of their progenitors who once controlled an extensive empire that made incredible advances in, in vicious wars. All right. Hoifek is their current chieftain. And Zael is the one who is, has turned away from them. All right, so we're going to leave this here for a moment. You know, skim through that again just to make sure, remind myself what's going on here. All right, put a couple of those story entries up there. All right, here we go. For traversing the Broken Lands. If they return to Zale, which they did. So the security tech offices are on the closer islands of the Broken Lands, and a number of small rocky islets lead up to it. PC with a jetpack or flight can reach the island easily. The first island is 40... feet from the shore and 5 feet higher. The next two are 30 feet each, so each one is 10 feet higher. The island with the secure tech offices is 50 feet from the last one, but the same elevation. Each islet can hold four creatures or a large creature. If the PCs use the grappler and the cable, they need to hit with a range against five. They can climb across the cable with DC-10 athletics. All right, so there we go. So I'm going to take this, drop it down into my story arc down here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. Stream did not realize that was going to be that loud. All right, so your 
secure tech, provide alarms, digital locks for many of the Mr. Max businesses, including Temple Found. So unfortunately, they're now domain of an immense mold colony known as a Rither Swarm. Its filaments are the only thing keeping the structure from crumbling. The windows and openings are covered with dirt and grime, leaving most areas in darkness. The doors are all unlocked. Although many are stuck closed and the ceilings are eight feet high, there are no light sources functioning within the building and no power, even if they were functioning. So let's take a look at the original at their map. All right, so it looks like we are ready to go. I have my stuff here, my encounter. which I have boosted up for them. Should be a pretty easy fight for them. Because our guys are pretty powerful. All right, let's add a little bit to this map real quick. So if you look, these are five feet squares here. Um, Smooth path runs past an overgrown lawn. Knee-high blue and grass smells sweet like honey. Two downs. Large living sacks of gas resemble jellyfish. They drift through the upper atmosphere. All right, so let's go ahead and boost this map just a little bit. Let's see, we've been going for about half an hour, so we should be able to knock this out pretty quick. We're going to go to our assets. Unlock this. And what we're going to do is just going to add some here so that when they do the fight, We won't be confined to this tiny space because these are large creatures anyway. And I have a lot more of them because my people are much higher level. So we're going to go to our um, Alright, let's take a look here. Ooh, hey, okay. I'm going to shrink this down a little bit because well, we'll do this in a minute. Moderns, Volume 5, what is that? Uh, let me take a look at this to see what this is, to remind myself. Okay, these are tokens, gotcha. All right, so we want to go to the map pack, Fantasy Ground, Art Pack 2019 right here. We want our tiles. There's one that's like a dirty green, like this one here. See? Boom. Here we go, ground grass right here. So now we're going to shrink it down even more. 
We're going to move, zap, shrink it down even more, then move, then slide this over. All right, so now we have a good working space to deal with. We can move you down. Go to our layers. We're just going to slap in a tile. Um, we're going to take this guy and center it, first of all. We'll go to, yep, yep, okay. Oh, he's locked. Unlock it. Put it right in the middle. Okay, now I'll lock it back in again. Lock. And now we'll take our... So we can just have we regular green, or we can add some brown. This one has brown. We'll go ahead and do this one. Boom, it is 12 and a half by 12. Um, so we have our stamp here. Uh, let's see. Two, four, six. So uh, we'll put this. We're just going to make this a uh, straight 12. Not sure why 12.3, but we'll do it that way. And then we'll go two, four, six, yep, boom. Okay. Two. Layer select, take him. We're going to rotate him. Move him up to here. I'm going to take and make it two clicks bigger. This guy will rotate as well. Actually, I'm going to rotate, leave him the way he was because I like the green. And we're going to take him down. To there. And bring it down just a smidge. Can we will control lock it? I forget. Okay, and then this one. Bring it up a little bit. Okay, boom. All right, so we have our map base to work with. Um, now we want to go to our, we're just going to put in Go up one to the fancy pack. Let's see brushes. Let's see what we've got. I don't really want brushes. What I want is um, I'm going to go up to the index. Click on. Well, we'll just go with all. That's fine. And we'll go to bush. See what kind of bushes we have because this is overgrown bushes here. So we'll go with grass. don't like any of the bushes there. We can go with grass. We'll find something that's close to this. I'm pretty sure we have things that are like that. So let's see. Yeah, see like this? This is pretty close. These two, three, four. These look pretty close to what that is. Uh, even this is pretty close. All right, so we'll come back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take him. Set 
slap him in here as a we'll go with paint take him and put him in here we're gonna make it a stamp and we're gonna go to green we're gonna make it a little bit more yellow to try and match what they have there and then we're going to bring down the opacity we're going to add an effect I mean add a painting there and we'll just call it simply grass All right, so now we have this, we have our stamp. Um, and now we can just take this, we can, with the control, we can make it bigger. Um, and what we're gonna do is just gonna start adding this in, using shift to turn it. Control to make it smaller or bigger. We're just tweaking it, moving it around. Layering it all up. All right, now we'll take some of this, throw this in here, in the same painting layer. Uh, we're gonna make it bigger. Again, turn. And then we're going to add some of this. Turn. I'll make this one a big one over here and turn it. And I'm actually going to take the color and I'm going to uh, change the color quite a bit on this one. As I max out the green. <clears throat> Make it a different size. And then we'll take this one. Boom. Say OK. Close out that one. So all we're doing is just trying to add some variety and some... Um, depth to this plain background we've got here. Now we're going to change the color again. Make it a little lighter. Turn it. Go back to this one. 
change the color again to, uh, there you go. It's fine by me. Bring it down just a bit. Shift one, turn it. But adding layers and stuff, uh, it breaks things up, makes it look a little different. All right, and so now we've got this. We're gonna add this one in here too, just cause. I'm gonna make it a lot bigger. Turn it. Throw some of this in here. Again, the whole concept is just to uh, break up this monotonous patch that's uh, of, of stuff over here. Change the color a little bit, make it a little uh, lighter. All right, so I think we're pretty much done. Um, let's throw in this little guy as our last little uh, addition uh, to make things a little bit different, break things up a bit. Throw some of these in around randomly to uh, just to give us a little flavor. All right, now we need a trail. We need a path. So let's see what we have. Let's try trail. I don't remember what all the different uh, tr map packs have available to us. Um, there we go. Perfect. This is. This works. Let's take a look at this. Um, so this is a line. So we do a line. And we will bring this up. Sh uh, control. Up. good I like it all right so now we start we'll zoom in make sure we start well right where we want it to okay awesome rotate rotate all right try it again All right, there we go. We 
zoom in. What we're going to do is we're going to go dirt. Wait for it to load. Here we go. And here we go. We'll throw this sucker in here. Turn it, shrink it down. Now it's nice and light, and I like that because what we're going to do is just going to add. Oh, this is a uh, Control Z. One on the stamp. There we go. So now we're just going to stamp. Just, uh, just, uh, just stamp some in here. Shrink it down, turn it a little bit, fill in the holes, boom. So, see, so now we got some dirt and stuff piled up around it. Um, <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is, let's see, um, what does this look like? There we go. We're going to go with add another. Oh, wait a second, what is this? Which one is this? All right, so this is, so which one is this? This is nothing, so the grass is nothing. This one is grass and trail. We're gonna add one. And this is gonna be the shadow. So what we're doing is we're going to go ahead and bring this down. To around 100. Make sure it's stamped. It is. Now we're just going to add some shadows in here. So we're just clicking. And what that's doing is it's adding this. Speckled darkness. A little bit of shadow here. Perfect. Good enough. So now we have a fighting area. Place for them to battle. And if we want to see where they are, by the way, so we go to click on play, click on lock, click on here, boom. Clicking the down arrow, then add them here so you can see that's where I've got them. Um, I'm going to have the characters coming up from down here. What we can do is we can go to line of sight. <coughs> Let's open this back up, check our line of sight. Perfect. Building is golden. So now we're just going to take this, we're going to go to wall, zoom out, and we just go click. We draw it to here. Boom. So now, when the players look at it, see, they can't see outside to see the, the dirtiness and stuff, so. All right, so we are all set and ready to go. And close this. Bring this down. We're going to put this guy 
down here as well. Boom. So now we have the map. Now we have the story. Everything is locked and loaded. So thank you guys for hanging out. Um, check out the other things I do here in on YouTube. Look at my other playlists. I do this for Dungeons and Dragons as well. If you have particular questions about Starfinder, I'm really good at coding, uh, building things, uh, maps, other things like that. Uh, so if you have questions, leave them in the links below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and whatever else you do, enjoy the rest of your day.